Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer. Because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers. And we answer them all in his own perfect timing. Because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also where we share the good news of Jesus Christ. Right out of this true and active living word of God. Which brings a free gift of salvation to you all. If you, if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins. And if you do all that. It offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive. Which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in his presence when you die. Friends, that's why. The video looks a little bit different. Yes, I'm filming from my phone because I am um, out of town um, on vacation for a family wedding. And um, I wouldn't want to get behind with the videos. So I was like, you know what? Let's just film and just do it off of the phone so I can show you guys how one, I'm dedicated to this and how it doesn't matter where I'm filming. It just matters the message. This is what matters in every video that I film. The message of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter the quality. It doesn't matter the camera that I use. It matters the message. The message only. And the message of Jesus Christ is what matters the most. Amen? Amen. Yes, I don't have my Bible with me. Um, I did not bring in this trip. Um, normally I do, but, um, but I forgot it. Um, but I did write the passage down on this note card right here. Today we got a good topic. We're going to be talking about how God will is preparing a place for us, a place one day we'll be able to spend forever with him in his presence. Um, we're going to be in John 14, 1 to 3. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them, flip along to that passage with us. And as you are flipping to that passage, I will open this up in a brief word of prayer. Then we'll begin. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for another day that you've given us to live for you. God, will you help us live for you and you alone, Lord? God, we only want to live for you. We don't want to live for anyone else or for anything else. We only want to live for you and you alone. Would you help us do that, God? Speak to us now by your word. Teach us something new that we need to hear from you, God. We love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. All right, guys. You guys ready? We're going to read John 14, 1 to 3. We're going to read this one time only, then we're going to talk about it. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. Um, you guys ready? Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Friends, what does this mean? What encouraging passage is this, first of all? What does this mean and how does this start out? It says, do not let your hearts be troubled. How many of your hearts are troubled some of the time? I know my, sometimes my heart is troubled. God is saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. How many of you believe in God? I know I do. Believe also in me, in Jesus as well. Believe his words that he says. My father's house has many rooms. Do you believe that his house has many rooms? I believe his house has many rooms. How many of you believe that? I believe it. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? If it were not so, would he have told us that he was going to, to prepare a place for us, friends? He would not. But it is true. It does have many rooms. Um, and if I go prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me. How many of you believe if he goes to prepare a place for us, he will come back and take us to be with him? And then, and then we may also be where I am, where he's at. How many believe that God is preparing a place for us, a place so fascinating that we'll be able to see the beauty of Christ and who Christ is? I believe he's doing that right now. And one day we'll have a party with him forever, a party that won't ever end. So what's my encouragement? What's my hope for you all today as we land the plane and send things home here? My encouragement is this, that we wouldn't lose sight of what's to come. 
the place of heaven, the place where we'll be able to dwell with, dwell with God forever in his presence and just be able to sit at his feet and worship him the rest of our days. And as we are waiting to get to that point, I pray that we would encourage people all the more with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That we would be able to tell people of what's to come and not lose sight of that. Amen? Amen. Well, if you never came to God before, we, we always want to do this opportunity, or if you want to come back to Christ, we always do this opportunity to this opportunity, give this opportunity at the end of every video. And we believe that this is the most important decision that anyone can ever make with life or we commit with the life by placing their faith fully in Jesus Christ alone and accepting him as his, him as the Lord and Savior. So, so if you want to do that, here's why I think you should come back to Christ. Why do I think you should come back to Christ? Because God died for you. He loves you. He loves you so much that he willingly went to the cross for you. And if you're still alive, God has a plan for you. God is the only one keeping you alive. You're not keeping yourself alive. God is the one keeping you alive. So he has a plan for you. So he wants you to come back in this kingdom. Why do I think you should come to Christ today? Because God ultimately gave his life up for you. So what better thing to do than to fully surrender everything to him when, you're, when he purchased you with his blood and he, the one who wants you to receive that, what he gave to you, the life. So that's why I think you should come to Christ today. Here's what you do. You say a simple prayer of faith from the silence of your own heart. Please repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Father God. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you, and I accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, or recommitted your life to Christ today, then we want to welcome you in the family of God, or welcome you back in the family of God. The scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment because this is truly one of the most important decisions that one can ever make with life or that one has already made with life is by placing their faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the, Him as their Lord and Savior. So if you just made this decision today for the first time with us or recommitted your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to one of our team members because we truly, truly would love to pray for you. We'd just love to talk to you and answer any questions you have. Um... Yeah, and just love to talk to you and answer any questions you have. Um, we also don't want to mock you at all. Don't want to press you. All we just want to do is give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision that you made today. And most importantly, we just want to be praying for you. That's truly the first and foremost thing that we ever want to do is pray for you and then give you resources. So, well, friends, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Is that fine? Would you bring your hand up to receive the blessing of Jesus? But uh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, and may you never forget, may you never forget that God is preparing a place for us, that we'll be able to dwell with him one day forever in his presence. What a glorious day that will be, friends. Amen? Amen. Well, if you guys were encouraged by this video, and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic as well, would you please give me a favor, click on that share button and share this hope with someone, share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, Please never hesitate to reach out to me or to one of our team members. We'd love to be praying for you. Love to just talk to you and any questions you have. And until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very, very blessed day. God bless you all and peace. Thanks, friends.